What I will turn back on is the taser program, because the tasers seem to work out real, real good with the whole tasing people thing. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Prison Architect here in Dave's Awesome Prison. And I think I've finally finalized my plans for the next part here. I've been kind of waffling over what I wanted to do next, whether I wanted to do a whole solitary wing down here, because we are pretty light on solitary cells. We don't have a lot of those kicking around, and boy, people sure are naughty when they're incarcerated. I'd also like to retry and address my parole board issue because I've got 18 prisoners up for parole and we're doing them one at a time. Now, if you have commented on how to fix my parole thing in the last episode and I don't take action on it or I do the exact opposite thing that you told me to do in this episode, it's because I haven't seen your comments yet. I am kind of recording these back to back, so I haven't actually seen the comments on the last one while I'm recording this one. Hopefully it'll all get fixed at some point. What I want to start doing is expanding this block, the medium security block that we've got up and running now. This is functional, That is, this exists. Medium security people are all up here. Minimum security people are all down here. I started picking at that the last time with putting up these walls, but I think I can make this slightly better than it is right now. I want to start by putting up a regular jail door right here, mostly so the builders have a way to get in and out of things. Because we're going to tear a lot of stuff down, we're going to rework some of these walls, and in fact, on that, why don't I get that started right now? Give me my post-apocalyptic walls. Let's go to here, and let's go to here, and then we're going to replace all of this right up to that door with this. I'm going to leave that door intact, again, just so the builders can do what they need to do, and then I'll figure the rest out later. Now, I did lay off a couple of builders last time, but they seem to be doing okay. I mean, things are moving slightly more slowly, but not abysmally so. I think I can cope with these guys as the builders, minus the three of them that I sort of fired because, hey, that's an extra 300 bucks a day that we don't have to be paying. So, all right, here we go. I want to demolish this wall and demolish this wall and these little fidgety bits in here. And then actually you can just go ahead and take down the doors. I don't really need the doors anymore. So uh, let's get rid of Dismantle that door. Come here. Dismantle that door and dismantle that door. Okay, that should still leave everything secure. We should have no problem with security there. I'll fix this bit over here later. It's not really meeting my aesthetic appeal. Few things do in life. And then that door can stay up there, except that should absolutely not be a fence gate. That should really be a slightly more secure door, I think. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, we've shot a bunch of people. Uh, but, oh, we've tased a bunch of people. Okay, we're tasing a bunch of people. All right, uh, slow it down, slow it down. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. First things first. Notice that there's no pipe here. There you go. Have a pipe for your sprinkler. Because we had a fire last time, and the sprinklers put out the fire, so I'm all in favor of sprinklers. What just happened down here? What was this kind of nonsense? Were you guys trying to escape? What was your deal here? Escape attempt. Okay, so you were just gonna, you were gonna go flat out the door, um, which I've left open for you. Okay, good move. Positive move. I see what you were going for there. You said to yourself, hey, the guy who's in charge of building this prison just dismantled a door without having any other security. So as far as we're concerned, as prisoners, we're free to go. You've taken down the walls and the doors and not put anything up. From our perspective, we see that we are in fact free to go, even though we've received nothing from the penal institution to indicate so. And in return for that, We've tased a bunch of you. Like, we have just tased your face off here. Okay, is is that problem largely solved? Everybody's injured. That's not going to go down well. Collie, come here. 
Um, how, how, oh God, there's more escape attempts. Somebody seriously needs to put that door back up, like right now, guys. We're, we're trying to tase people here. Tasing is happening. There's more escaping. Everyone's running for the open hole in the fence. Oh God, there's tunnels. There's tunnels that are happening down here. Uh, we need to, uh, all right, everybody stop. The hell is going on in Prison Architect today? Okay, let's, uh, Remove some tunnels. Let's get rid of the tunnel you were trying to dig. Good job spotting that, guys. I didn't even order a tunnel search and you found that. Can we, um... Can we please put the door back up? Can I... Can I make you, like, super wicked prioritize that, please? Is anyone gonna move? I know it may have been a slight clerical error in telling you to dismantle the door in the wall, which was the only secure point in that all of the prisoners looked at the open space and said, hey, good time to just walk out the open gate. Or the other prisoners who said, hey, while this guy's dealing with all the escape attempts, let's get a tunnel going. Um, right. Now, Warren Speed here is unconscious. We've tased him. We found a cell phone somewhere, but I think that's kind of the least of our issues. We uh, escape attempt and you attack the staff. Everyone is... You know what? You know what? Lockdown. Lockdown. That's that. I, I haven't done it. I haven't had a reason to do it. But everyone is is having issues today. We're going into lockdown. I'm very sorry, but you kind of brought this on yourselves. And by brought this on yourselves, I mean I totally encouraged you to escape Dave's awesome prison by giving you a hole in the wall that has still not been fixed. So still, until the hole in the wall is fixed... Everybody's in lockdown. Bring them back to their cells. We're all going into lockdown here. How's the, um, how's the whole dismantling? Yeah, okay, we are, we are going to collapse those tunnels at some point. Okay, I'm going to tentatively end the lockdown at this point because the lockdown also includes the delivery area, which is where the door is that I need to get to, to, to do the door. I, all right. And, and the lockdown. Okay, you know what? Just, just, just in case, just in case, I'm just going to put up yet another wall around here. Just, um, just, just so we can get in and out and do the things that we need to do without accidentally, well, I say accidentally leaving a hole in the wall. Um, I, I mean, I deliberately did it. I just didn't fully realize the implications of it when it happened. All right, lockdown is ended. Everyone's being... Why are you people... Why are you people in the utility room? You probably got caught in there during the lockdown. How's the uh, tunnel demolition going? Okay, we're working on that. Excellent. Oh, wow. That, um... That all happened. Six o'clock in the morning and they finally put the other jail door in. And the useless wall that I don't actually need anymore, but I'm keeping it. Not risking that again. I probably will. I'll probably do something incredibly stupid, like, you know, put a hole in the wall so everyone can just walk out. But not today. Not today. Okay. Right. Are things calm down a little? The tunnel is gone. Whomever we tased has been dealt with. Why do you... Have I not put pipes down for you? Is that your problem? Yeah, that's kind of your problem. Actually, there really aren't any pipes near that. Let's bring a large pipe down here, and then the small pipe can just run off of that. Okay. All right. Back to work here. Back to work. You know, I was going to give you guys your little prisoner shop where you could buy candy bars and cell phones and that kind of thing, but you've been very, very bad, and I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to make room for more prisoners. So I think, depending on what I can afford, and I've got, I've got some money. At this point, I don't have completely 100% no money. It's going to cost me 10 grand to do that. So do it. I'd like to ideally more or less double the size of our medium security block at this point. And let's put a... Oh, I'm going to need them to be able to get in and out while they're working on this. How about a just a regular jail door right there, and then I can fidget with that later and change it up. So yeah, I can 
I should be able to, well, more than double my capacity in here. But I want to think about some other things in here. I don't quite know what yet. I might give the medium security guys a little gymnasium, a little workout area. I might not. I don't know. I'm not sold on that. Wow, we just ordered a bunch of stuff. whole bunch of stuff just showed up. That is going to take forever to get through deliveries. Oh, and I have three less builders at this point. But it'll proceed. It'll move on. I was kind of wondering why the guys were taking a second shower. It's because I told them to. Apparently, I put two shower slots in here for the minimum security people, probably when I was trying to quell the shower riot. Got all out of control when medium security people couldn't shower. They got very, very fussy about that. But this does absolutely not need to be shower time. This can be work and free time. There we go. That's much more sensible. Do more work around here. That's what I say. And then... Uh, no, I'm going to keep the medium security in lockup. I was going to give them a little bit more free time, but have they deserved it? I don't think they have. Although I am pretty sure that most of the people trying to escape are minimum security people. Yeah, you're all very bad. I'm very, very disappointed in all of you. Now, again, if you commented on the parole issue the last time and I'm not doing the right things, it's because I haven't seen your comment yet. But what I am going to try, I don't know if this will work, but what I am going to try is just putting in another table? Does that make any sense? Can we get double the parole hearings? You know what? Just in case it does work, I'm going to put in a third one like that. Just in case that does work, it'll be something that we can do. And I'm going to move this down here. We don't even really need it, but here it is. You know, now that I look at this room, we get like a, a lamp of some sort in here. It's, it's, I feel it's dark. Nice, pretty lamp. And uh, you can have a lamp up there too. And what else would you like to have? Would you like maybe a window? Why don't you have a window right here? So you can kind of tease them with the idea of freedom during the parole hearing and then deny them. One comment I have seen popping up occasionally that I kind of wanted to act on was increasing the size of the cleaning cupboard would mean that I can assign more prisoners to cleaning duty. And I kind of really like that idea. Some prison labor, not a terrible idea at all. So what if we made this like that? Could we do that and then see how that all works out? I should put some things in the cleaning cupboard. I should probably put that scanner, who's he McWhat's it, in the cleaning cupboard. Pretty sure I've been told to do that on several occasions and I haven't acted on that. Well, think about it. They're not cheap, but they might be worth it if we can catch some of the you know, chemically stuff that keeps leaking out of there. How's, um, how's everyone feeling today? Are we feeling a little more calm? A little more accepting of our time here in Dave's awesome prison? I've got some money coming in. I've got some money coming in. And when this is done, I'll have some more money coming in after I build some more cells. I want to put on uh, not deployment. I want to put on another dog handler. I just feel these guys are invaluable. Absolutely invaluable. They get all the good stuff. 150 bucks a day. That's fine. Totally fine. We're going to have another dog handler. And what I'd actually... You know what? I can map it out right now. I can map it out right now. What I wanted is a dog patrol going around the perimeter of medium security so that we can look for tunnels. So let's get a patrol going all the way around medium security. So come down here, come down here, and then we're going to go all the way around. Hold, what is that? We found a power drill. Okay, that's. I'm sure that'll relieve itself over time. And then I would like a dog handler on that patrol, please. Somebody want to pick that job up? There we go. Okay, fantastic. So if somebody starts doing naughty tunnels over here, we'll have a better shot of catching them because that's working out great down here. That is just working out fantastic down here. They're sniffing out the tunnels and we get the tunnels and then they don't have the tunnels anymore unless I'm previously occupied with trying to manage a mass escape. Okay, the foundations are up over here so I can start to dismantle some of the walls now that this is secure again. Right, right. So get rid of all of that wall and then you, this door can get dismantled. Might find a home for it later. Who knows? 
So when they get all of that done, I'm going to start earmarking out, well, actually, is there any reason I can't do it right now? There isn't really. So quick build me. I think I'm just going to do a mirror right here. So get me this going on, this kind of nonsense right here. That one and that one. Carry this right along. And then here, I think I will do those improved cells. Because why not? It's fun for the gang. Oh, and they also expanded my cleaning cupboard over here. Now, this is one of the few times I'll actually remember to do something. I need to rezone the cleaning cupboard. There we go. That is now all cleaning cupboard. Yeah, this totally needs some things in it. It's just, it's just bare. It's just barren in there. Uh, have a filing cabinet. Maybe you've got some important cleaning documents to be filing in here. I don't know. And a coat rack. You know what? When you come in, you can put your coat away before you go to work. I think this is a very, very valuable thing for you to be having. And then uh, maybe a sofa. Because I think you guys do kind of hang out in here when you're tired. I'm pretty sure you do. So have some of that in there. And then what else could we kick around in this neighborhood? Probably not the snack machine. It's not going to get as much use as I might like it to. How about uh, just a table? There you go. Regular old generic table. Now, can I then, yeah, is that more jobs or less? I feel that's like, oh, max jobs 10. Oh God, yes. Yeah, let's get way more max jobs in there. Okay, good. There's 10 jobs available in the cleaning cupboard. Okay, great. So the bigger the cleaning cupboard, the more people can work there. Should I put up I feel I should put up the scannery thing. I've had people telling me to do that. I mean, they're not cheap. Thousand bucks each, but I'm gonna I'm gonna scan anything that comes through the cleaning cupboard. Oh, and this needs to be rezoned too, because when I expanded it, it went off of well, it took away its zone. So alright, that is all medium security in there. There we go. Everything medium security in this building. Thank you very much. It's going to take them ages, ages to get all those cells in. Uh, they put the three tables in, in the parole office. I'll be interested to see what happens with that tomorrow morning, if we can process three at a time, or if I've just completely bungled this. P.S. It's probably the second thing that I just said. And with the money that I've got and knowing that I'm going to be upping my money in the reasonably near future, I'm going to put on one more regular guard, just one more regular old guard, nothing special, no dogs, no guns. However, what I will turn back on is the taser program, because the tasers seem to work out real, real good with the whole tasing people thing. So I'm going to put the taser certification back on. You guys can have tasers again. We stopped that for a little while because it's um, kind of pricey when they're... Do why, why do I have one section of wall here? Why, why is there one bit of wall? All right, we're going to have to get rid of that because that's just messing with me. So we turned it off for a while because it was quite... Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean escapes too? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, with the tunnels. Okay. Another tunnel search, please. I'm pretty sure I can guess where it is. Well, there's a pretty big hit to my money. And that kind of points out to me something that I only now realize. I don't have any dogs down here. I don't have any dog patrols down in this area. We're, we're doing another patrol. And if necessary, I will hire another dog guard. I have no problem with that. Why don't you start up here and then come back down all around. Cover this whole area down here. Cover all of this right by the cells. Sniff out any potential troublemaking tunnels around here. And then you can come back up and do it all over again. Dog guard down there, please. That actually, that might be stretching the limit of my dog guards. So you know what? Time for more dog guards around here. Well, I don't care. I don't care if I'm in the red right now. I want another dog handler right there. And you know what? Two. Two. Okay, that's 300 bucks a day. I laid off $300 worth of builders. So, you know, net zero there. Yep, dog already sniffed out the tunnel down here. Paying for themselves. Paying for themselves. Wish I'd thought of that before the escape. Oh, well, here we are. Somebody probably pointed it out in the comments of the last video that I haven't seen yet. Probably said, hey, Dave, you know, you've got a whole unpatrolled section of your wall down here with a whole bunch of prisoners. Oh, wait, there's a different tunnel. Hang on. Hang on, there's a different tunnel over here somewhere. Alrighty. 
Uh, you know what, guys? Unfortunately, that means another tunnel search. Well, we haven't found any tunnels yet, but we found a fork. Can you dig a tunnel with a fork? Probably. Just very, very slowly, I would imagine. What the guy in Shawshank use? Maybe a fork. I don't know. We haven't rediscovered the tunnel that is, I know, right here. It's mildly worrying. Nor have we kind of figured out the origin of the tunnel down here. You know, the one that pops out right here. Well, I can, I can figure that out. It's in one of these cells. Dang, there was a lot of them digging tunnels. It's in one of these cells with the little wooden dummy in it. Very clever. Very clever. It fooled me. Doesn't take much to fool me, but fooled me. Well, again, alarmingly, we have not discovered the tunnels after two tunnel searches. So I'm going back to another commenter's um, unfortunate idea, which is start breaking people's toilets. Dismantle... Start with dismantling these three toilets and see what we find. And sadly, same again down here. Yeah, Whiteman, you go to solitary. You had a fork on you. I, I mean, I know for a fact there's a tunnel in here. We've got the little wooden dummies, but start breaking all the toilets. This is a bit fussy because I'm going to have to put all of these back, but there's a tunnel in here somewhere. And just for good measure, just for good measure, let's do yet another tunnel search. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, well, uh, stop the dismantling then. Uh, do, don't do that anymore. We, we kind of figured it out. Yeah, don't uh, don't dismantle any of these. I'd prefer not to have to put them back if I can help it. Uh, Sanchez, don't get any ideas there. That tunnel's going down momentarily. Don't even get any ideas about that nonsense. Uh, that and that. I'd still, I still think there's ones over here because it's got the, the little wooden dummy thing. But yeah, dismantle that. That's already earmarked for dismantle. Okay. I know there's something up here. We got the little yellow flags. I just haven't discovered it yet. And I do have a dog patrol going around the building, right? Yeah, there you are. Not, no, no tunnels, Sparky? Fido? Rex? No, no tunnels over there, huh? In more disappointing news, it doesn't look like we can hold more than one parole hearing at once. There's still one at a time going on. I'm going to have to go dig out that comment. Somebody had said something about basically extending the time of the parole hearing so we can do more than one. But it didn't seem to work in the last part when I when I tried that, so I'm not quite sure what I do about that. I'll have to go dig out the comments somewhere and see if I can revisit that. But there's a lot of people up for parole, and we just can't process them that quickly. Quickly. Yeah, I knew there was more tunnels around here. Nobody is surprised by this. There's clearly more tunnels around here. All right, well, unfortunately, guys, that's time for... Un Actually, I say all sectors. No, I do want all sectors because I still think there's something going on in medium security that I'm not aware of right now. We got some flags up there, but we haven't discovered it yet. I knew there was something going on over here. Wow. Um, I need some... Sadly, I need some builders. I kind of need to rehire the guys so they can come back in and deal with these tunnels because their time is completely occupied trying to build cells and getting everything through the delivery area. I've, um, I may have overstretched my staff a little bit. There we go. Now it's coming to light. I see it now. Here we go. So remove the tunnels, please. Remove the tunnels. Let's get all of these out of here. Very industrious, guys. Good job on the tunnels. You probably could have worked together. Like, you were one, two tiles away from a cooperative tunnel, instead of both of you having to dig all the way out beyond the wall. Team up next time. And Butterworth's in trouble again. Spoons, Butterworth. It's not a spoon this time. It was a screwdriver. Spoons, you're like the least of my issues right now. I really don't care, Butterworth. If you want to have a spoon or a screwdriver hold away, however, hang on, hang on. Hold away, did you set off the metal detector? No, I think that was just it beeping to go through. You've, you've successfully gone through the metal detector without having any metal detected on you at any point. However, um, I'm just searching you because I don't like the way you look and you look a little shifty and shady. So we're going to search you for no readily explainable reason. All right. Hauled away was clean this time. How did we, did we fix all the tunnels? Okay. All the tunnels are collapsed. We're bringing toilets back into the cells so they count as cells again. And I'm sure we've made basically no progress on the other cells up here, which is probably for the best. I, I think possibly I'm I'm hitting my capacity limit. Oh God, what now? What? It's another escape attempt. It's another escape. 
Where? Where? Oh, yeah, where? Yeah, six people got out. Six people just got out of my jail. Prison. Whatever. I knew there was a... I knew there was a tunnel up there. Ah, oh, I should have done more tunnel searches. Actually, where are the dummies? That does not appear to be where they were. Okay, well, we, we lost a few folks there. We have um lost a few folks. Okay, super, I think. Well, you know what? I'll bring some more ones in. That's probably a reasonably dramatic end to Prison Architect for today. We will, uh, well, we're going to keep plugging along here. It's getting a little dicey. People are escaping. People are getting tased. Many, many tunnels are being dug. But we proceed on nonetheless. Would it help if I built you a gym? Would that make you all a little more chill? Because frankly, you have more amenities here than I have in my own life. I don't have my own private library. I don't have my own private chapel. You people have it way better off than you think you do. Except for the terrible food, because I'm pretty sure I'm serving you pretty terrible food. But we'll pick up some more Prison Architect next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this sugarless nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.